everyone, this is Brock from Teach Brock Code with episode two for the .NET Core Razor Pages introduction. Um, this, this video will be a lot shorter than the first. What we're gonna do is set up a second table in our database, and then we're going to make a relationship between them. And we're gonna come here, add that model uh, that corresponds to that table, and I'm gonna show you how to bring that into the uh, create page. The options that you put in vehicle will be in the other um, tables, or in the other pages as part of the drop-down list. And um, if you haven't done that before, it's actually fairly simple. So we'll start out by going to the SQL database that we created. I already stood up um, a second um, table here, and I called it log. It'll be the it'll be the home page. We'll actually go right to this page, and you'll see the log of all the records. You'll also be able to add new ones. So if you changed oil on your wife's car today, this is where you would add it, or your mom's, or whoever's car. You know, you would come here, you would add it, and I'll show you how to do it. So remember on this when you make this, remember to make ID primary key. I think on vehicle, I. Uh, forgot to do it in the first video or just left that part out so make sure you make that the primary key key so just right click set primary key in the ID field always and in the log it's very simple um, the ID the date of the service vehicle ID which will be the foreign key um, that correlates back to the primary key of ID in the vehicle table and going forward as we add more tables we'll make corresponding ID with that name and then comment section uh, it's always good to have comments and I made that a uh, Varkar max because um, you don't want to limit you know and throw an error because you know you didn't make it big enough in your database to store the value okay and so don't forget also under this one to go to identity specification and change that to yes right here is identity okay so when you're done with that, we are going to add a relationship. So you're gonna do it on the log because the log contains the foreign key. So right click, go to relationships, and there it is. And it won't let you do it if you forgot to put the primary key on, on any of them. So the foreign key table is the log, and you want the vehicle ID. Because you're gonna go with the vehicle table and you're going to choose the, the ID. Okay. Come out here. It's there. And then when you save, there we go. Done. Success. You just put them together. So just remember these values because when you come into your solution, go to your models folder, and that's where, just like with the vehicle, right click on model and you're going to add new class so okay and name it log always name this exactly what the table is in the database okay and remember the uh, shortcut here and you'll get used to that Pretty, pretty easily the prop you'll be using it a lot if you plan on uh, building razor pages and I think I just called it date um, I actually forget the next oh no I don't there was an int vehicle ID And the last one was a string and comments. Okay. So you're gonna save that. And if you don't remember last time, you're gonna come to pages and make a new folder first. 
and always name this the name of the model with an S at the end because there's multiple pages or else as I said last time name space and type with the same name always gives a problem at least in my experience and now we just add razor pages and do the crud like last time with the model class log and uh, the same context that you created last time and sometimes this takes a few seconds depending on what uh, kind of system you have I feel like it's taken longer than normal Beautiful. There's the uh, the index page. Now we're not going to use this page right now, and I actually hate having so many pages open. So I'm going to close all of them. So the fun part starts now. We're going to go in the the create code behind page. Okay. And you are going to in the on get going to add. Um, you're gonna add a select list. So you're gonna create a select list here that will be drop down of the different vehicles. So that way when you go into the create page, you're not free texting the vehicle because the vehicles are driven by the vehicle table. So we wanna access that list based off the model name. So to do that, in order to do that, we are going to make a view data and then name it. So you want brackets, and then what I usually do is name it the same thing. Vehicle ID is a good one. <clears throat> now you'll only, be, you'll only be doing service of one car at a time, so it's not a multi-select list, so we just want a select list. And then right here you want your, you want your context. So your context, and then dot the name of the class. So we got vehicle. And then to bring them in, you want them ordered by. And this is where you'll use a lambda expression. So, and you'll be ordering them by model name. That makes the most sense, I, I think. It makes the most sense to me. So you created that, but now you need to actually implement it somewhere. So come to the HTML page. And right here, it automatically, in the log used, it's gonna display automatically the, basically the parameters you put in the, um, in the model. So what we wanna do is come here and we're gonna turn this to a select. Not a regular input box, we want a select. So I'm gonna do a select. And I believe they don't have a close like that. So. And inside of here, we're gonna do ASP items. And this is where you'll be using a view bag. And then the name you gave it, which is vehicle ID. Okay. Let's make this pretty out here. So we'll go option value um, equals blank. We'll have a blank one and we'll make that uh, select uh, vehicle. and then close the select. Have that over? Okay. So now what you did with, you used the uh, ASP items and then the view bag. 
and as long as it has that name, vehicle ID, because that's what you gave this, it'll be on the page. But what we want to do first is go to the shared page. In the layout, <clears throat> and we want to add a page. So let's see. For this home one, we could do that, and it could be called home. So this way, we could get there. Oops, just that. Okay, and this should work. Let's cross your fingers. We still have the home page set to the regular index page um, that came with the program. But now home should take us to the logs. And it does. We don't have anything in the logs yet, but. So if we go to create, we got a date time picker. So we'll change that to date um, in the future. We don't need time. And right here we have the vehicle from the database. So let me go to vehicles quick. And let's add one. Let's add a vehicle. We're ordering by model. So let's add, uh, to show it's not ordered by ID, let's add something. If I can think of a model that begins with A at the top of my head. Go with a Nissan Altima. Let's make it a 2008. So we're cre we created that. So now we have two. Back to the log and create. And now hopefully, there it is. So we have the Altima and BRZ in the list now. So that worked perfect. So, so that is how you use view bags to uh, populate select lists in Razor Pages. And if you have any questions on that, let me know, feel free in the comments. And in the next video, not only will we do styling, because uh, <laughs> page needs some work, so I'll show you some uh, good styling tips, but we also will cover uh, how to add multiple um, view bags and application and, and whatever else. Uh, Whatever else comes to mind and makes sense to do next. So, thank you for watching. This was episode two of .NET Core Razor Pages, and this was Teach Brock Code. Have a good day.